surface modeling where it is required what is the difference here solid modeling is a fast process surface modeling is a slow process solid modeling editing is easier surface modeling editing is difficult but solid modeling there is a limitation surface modeling no limitation at all any geometry you can define can be created by using surface modeling the most important part is all about surfacing you should be able to create complex parts and how you can improve this skill i will give some important tips here you can definitely work on that and uh, you can achieve mastery on this so there are some approaches in surface modeling which are those approaches let us take example of katia or any graphic software so the first thing you have to create a wireframe model right once you create the wireframe model then next activity you are creating some surfaces and once you create all the surfaces you have to convert all the surfaces into a solid so there are commands like you can go for a uh, sieve command or stitch command is there or in case of uh, katia it is a closed surface command is there so initially you have to start with very simple examples and then to create critical components i'll give an example how you can improve this suppose you have a 3d model which you have created by using part modeling method right take any example initially you can take very simple example now what you can do there are options in the surface modeling that you can extract these surfaces you can extract the boundary curves right like in case of katia there is one command that is boundary or extract command you can use so what you have to do you have to just extract the wireframe now you can delete this model so what you can do this is your original file go to save as another name you can put so your file is intact you have this file to play so just copy all the wireframe by using the extract command delete this model so what you have right now you have the wireframe structure right by using this wireframe structure now you have to create individual surfaces it is a time taking process right but you need to give some time period for this and once you create all the surfaces you will find there are many options which you are using like when you have to use extrapolate command you have to use split surface you have to use trim surface you have to go for joining you will find there are some problems are there then you have to check the gaps you may be using healing commands all these options you have to use and once you can create the 3d model from this exercise this is a next level you have achieved so this is one important tip do this activity this is a homework for you so if we consider 100 designers in the market only 50% they know surface modeling and only 4% they know the commands like all options of sui there are 24 different options in especially in katia you must know all these options because this is one area where this is the requirement of industry and there are questions asked during interview like one model is given to you which is in the igs format and they will ask you now create a similar model by using this igs so you should be able to create that also that is a kind of seri mastering process coming to our next part so effective surface modeling how we can achieve this these are the important tips first you have to ensure that when once you are creating all the surfaces there are no overlapping surfaces this will create problem while using the command like sieve there should not be any gaps between the surfaces when you uh, you are creating surfaces even though there is a small gap of 0.2 mm or 0.1 mm you are not able to join the surfaces that also we have to ensure and third thing no diaphragm or partition means when you create all the surfaces in between there should not be any parting surface if you follow all these important tips you can improve the surface modeling and you can create very critical components